Hey guys, check this place out. We are on the Four Island Adventure today. Wow, 9 a.m., partly cloudy, but the clouds are gonna go away in the next hour. I'm here with Lady Sarah. Lady Sarah is walking out into the middle of the ocean with a coconut, enjoying her morning. So we rented a luxury um, private long tail boat. So it's just us, just me and her. It's got cushions and pillows, food, water, um, coconuts, um, everything that we need to travel. And we can leave everything on the boat. It's totally safe. And we did this yesterday for the, uh, you guys saw that, the Four Island Tour. And <clears throat> so now we are, sorry, on the Hong Island Tour yesterday. Look behind you, there's fish right here, right here. The same fish from, from yesterday, yeah. So this trip, even though it is our second island hopping, was supposed to be the first island hopping on Monday. But because of the rain on Monday, I decided to postpone it. Now the problem being is that I wanted to surprise Lady Sarah with a four, four star experience and then Hong Island would have been five star. But now that we did Hong Island already and we're coming back here, it's like, it's a downgrade. So, yes, yes. It is. Well, see, because Hong Islands were more sheltered coves, right? They were inside the islands, right? Here, this is open ocean. So the, so the water is much more spread out, right? So it has a better chance of being clear. I think you should go over and then let's walk inside the channel there. You, want me to, you got it? Where's your camera? Just make sure it doesn't get wet, like it doesn't leak, okay? It's not 100% guaranteed. So. <laughs> okay, so now we're walking to another island because the tide is low right now. Is it food? Can you eat it? Lady Sarah loves her sweet. Yeah, so tonight she's treating me and taking me to steak shop, right? Oh, look at the look at all the fish up ahead. On the right, on the right, on the right by the rope. On the right by the rope. Look at them feeding on feeding on the algae. They're feeding on all the algae. Oh look at oh! Look at that. Yeah. I hope the camera caught that. They were feeding on the algae on the rope. Anyway, so, so far on the island, if someone was to think about coming to Krabi, what would, what would you say to them? What kind of person would enjoy Krabi? I mean, if you like drinking and partying, maybe not really. Yeah. But if you like more like quiet, you are just like relaxing. Perfect. Uh, family friendly? Yeah. Because it's like quiet? Yeah. Because like, since it's like big class or like papaya, yeah. there's like a lot of like bars. Yeah. And how about the food? Enough restaurants to satisfy you? I mean, yeah, we've gone, we found, I mean, we didn't, we don't really go to a lot of different places. We find one or two that we like, we keep going. Like we've been to the beach twice. We've been to Tong Kale twice. Uh, Reeve, I won't go again because it's just too expensive for the value for the money. The, 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 the value for the money is not there. You're going for the experience. You're not going for the food. Although the food was incredible and the customer service was over the top, I wouldn't, it's a one-time yeah, experience. You should, go there once. you should go there once. I'm definitely saying that, but it's not like it's not going to be my regular place to go. 
because it is somewhat on the more expensive side. I mean, I think I was with tip and food, we spent 6,000 baht. Now I over tipped, I tipped 1,000 baht because the customer service, like I said, was over the top. Um, but, you know, we ate, I mean, you and I love to eat high-end food. I like steak you, and lobster, you like crab and shrimp. So, and, and we don't eat like one entree, we eat like three or four entrees. Yeah, like we had, I mean at the other restaurant we had uh, two crab curries, I had a lobster thermidor, and you had like shrimp and oysters. So it was, it was, are you finished with that? Um, and I remember at the other time we went to the beach, you had like two crabs, three crabs, and I had steak, and it was like, you know, four or five thousand, which is, I mean, it, it, that's a good dinner out. I mean, you know, you only eat once, but Sarah eats four times. We went to Tong Tale last night. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't video that, but you. Like I said, the, the, the cost of eating there is 50 US dollars for two people, buffet, all you can eat. Sarah, conservatively, what amount of food did you eat? How many shrimp? And we're talking huge, uh, eight inch shrimps. They were big, they were extra, extra large. How many of those blue shrimps did you eat? Seven or eight, how many crabs did you eat? four or five I remember you eating. And then on top of that, you ate, we had some oysters, and then you had some other little, like. And like, they have a lot of other entrees. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it was good, but yeah. the thing is, like, with seafood, like. It's, it's a lot not, of work. It's, yeah, and it's not high in fat, you know? So like, I was full, but the time I got full, I was like starving for some, like, rice or something. Some, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's pure protein. Yeah. It's pure protein. All right, guys. We're going to get over to the beach. We'll see you all on the other side. Thank you, Lady Sarah. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, bye, Choco Pie. That's going to be your catchphrase. Bye-bye. No, no, I don't like that. <laughs>
this latest era like snorkeling. So we're gonna, I told the captain that we're gonna only stay here half an hour. He said we can stay here an hour, but I know what Sarah likes, so we're gonna head over to another place. Um, one thing I'm gonna recommend everyone gets when they come here is water shoes. Get yourself a good pair of water shoes. Not flip-flops, not slippers, not like running shoes, because I have these running shoes. Uh, no, because they get bogged down with water and, and sand. I have these walking shoes. They, sand does not get in them. Water does not get in them. They're 100% like, I, I put like this and I go like that. No sand gets in no and all the water gets out. It, it's like I'm wearing nothing. So definitely get yourself a good pair of walking shoes. These were five bucks on AliExpress. You're only gonna wear them on vacation, but they save your butt. Let me tell you, walking in this, you, you need it 100%. All right, guys, so we're gonna wrap up here, head back to the boat, and uh, head over to the next place. I don't think you can see PP Island from here. I think it's one of those over there. It's too far away to see, and it's actually cloudy on that side. So PP Island is another half an hour, 45 minutes from here. So our long tail boat today actually had a motor, so it was quite faster. It was about 20 minutes faster than what I expected, which will give us more time at each beach because transit is a long time. Like yesterday at Hong Island, yesterday at Hong Island was an hour. It was 40 minutes to get to the first island, and then another 10 minutes, another 10 minutes, and then come back home was an hour. So you have to factor that into your into your day's travel. So yeah, the sun is getting hotter and hotter now. Um, and here, we arrived here in uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So, which is really good. Normally it would have taken about 20 or 30 minutes to get here. But uh, we got here pretty quick because our long tail boat actually has a motor. All right guys, so we're gonna head back to the boat. We'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, Sri Lankan and Sammy, thanks for joining. I want to take a quick moment and talk to you about the channel. I really appreciate you taking the time to support the channel, uh, clicking like, sharing and commenting, but I need to ask you for a little bit of help and helping me get the channel up and running a little bit better. Please, please, Click the link down below if you want to support the channel and buy me a coconut. What I will do is I will match the dollars and I will go out and buy fresh fruit and vegetables from local farmers on the roadside. If you guys have seen me do that before, I'll continue doing that by supporting the local economy. Passively, if you would like to, you can just watch a commercial. I am monetized, so if you watch an ad all the way through a couple, that would really help the channel. And even more so, click the link of the ad and let it pop up on your computer. Leave it open for a few minutes. That would really, really help the channel passively. And one last thing, if you could please just put a comment, an emoji, one word saying hello, saying hi, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Happy Vesak, Happy Poya, whatever it is, whenever it is, I truly appreciate it. Sri Lankan Sammy, loving you all. We'll see you all on the other side.
are. Look at this beautiful meal that they set up for us. Chicken, uh, vegetable chop suey or something, or chicken chop suey, noodles, and chicken and rice and eggs. On um, the beach, look at this view. Lady Sarah, how are you feeling today? Sorry to interrupt you while you're eating. <laughs> Don't growl at me, okay? So, at, at Chicken Island, how is the snorkeling compared to so, so far what you've experienced at Hong Island? fish were amazing. I, I was so impressed. I didn't believe it myself. You were so wrong. I was. So my plan worked. Put the garbage in. Oh. This is by far the most amazing beach I've ever been on. And you can see down there, there's Aonang Beach. That's where we're staying. There's Raleigh Beach, Pranang Beach. Absolutely perfect. I'd like to spend a little time here before we go. Sarah's out there. I can see her enjoying. Like, I think we've been in the water for two hours. I'm done. You know, like I, I've done scuba diving. I've done snorkeling. For her, this is only the second time in her life, second day in her life that she's ever done. Less yesterday was the first time she ever did it. Today is the second time she's ever done it, and she's loving it. She's getting as much as she can. So we're at Chicken Island, and I'm telling you. By far the best snorkeling. We saw sea urchins, giant clams. I saw this blue, I think it was a parrotfish. It had a, like a very, I've seen it before in the Caribbean. Tons of fish bring fruit. They bring fruit, they love the fruit. Uh, I saw what I think was um, like, a, uh, like a long swordfish marlin type of thing. It was, it had to be a foot or two feet long. We saw like a huge, huge fish in here. And so, the, the, 
other island, Pong, uh, Pong Island over there, which, oh my god, you guys saw the view when we had lunch. It was stunning, just stunning. And then the next thing we can see over there is where our home base is. So, I have to say, the money that I spent on this private boat to have the captain and the crew and everything, and to be able to go when I wanted, 100% worth it. 100%. Okay? Uh, because we found one place that we didn't like, and we wanted to come back here, so we got to the and then we acted like because the current's going this way, we got drifted down and he came over to this side to pick us up because we couldn't swim back again. So that's what I should do. Sarah. Sarah, stay because the current is pushing you that way. So yeah, the current is really strong. The wind is blowing in this direction. So we started there and then it pushed us all the way down and I couldn't couldn't swim back. Was, I was trying and I just waved at the captain and he came to pick us up. Definitely go to one. It doesn't matter who you go to. I mean, I'm going to put the link to the travel agency I use or the street agent that I use. Uh, they take credit cards, which is perfect. Uh, also, the price of this, these trips. This trip was 6000 baht, which is about $200. Um, and that includes the food, the captain, the snorkeling, the drinks, like the soda, the coconuts, the pop, the water, uh, food, the, the lunch was delicious, you saw the pictures of the lunch, it was fried chicken, rice, uh, spicy chicken, noodles, fruits, and they laid out fruits for us, uh, coconuts, it was great, and the fact that you can go when you want, come when you want, do whatever you want, between 9 a.m. and as long as you're back on the beach by 3, 3.30, so we can leave here at like 2.45. So, and this boat doesn't have a long tail, it has an engine, so it goes a little bit faster. So definitely, definitely, guys, you have to have to book a private, private luxury boat, okay? Private luxury boat is definitely the way to go, all right, because they take really good care of you. It's so much more comfortable. All right? And uh, even Lady Sarah said it was absolutely worth the money that we spent. Um, and the people are nice. I mean, they, they tell us, we tell them where we want to go and what we want to do, and they, they, they know because they live here. This is their home territory. So tomorrow, I don't know which show it is, tomorrow we're going inland the Emerald Pool. This is a surprise for her. And again, I booked a private VIP luxury car to take us whenever we want to come back. And then in the evening, we have to be back in time because I'm taking her for Thai cooking class. So we're going to cook our own dinner. She doesn't know. It's going to be a huge surprise. Join us for that video next. I want to thank you guys for joining us on this trip. Thai-tastic Sammy. Sri Lankan Sammy retired with mom and dad with Lady Sarah. Lady Sarah, wave hi. <laughs> she's having a wonderful time i'm having a wonderful time thank you for joining us guys click the link down below support the channel lots of love for you guys we'll see you all on the other side